I'm RT and welcome back to RT's World. So today I present you a new machine and it is called the Six Cell Casino. And the Six Cell Casino you see here in the background is suggested by a viewer. So first of all, before we get into the video, thanks to our suggester. This and basically is to sum this comment up, he offered me an idea for a mechanism and it's all around a Six Cell mechanism that you can choose. He also wants five diamonds as a payment. And he wants to have to, the option to select a container and to win in multiple containers or to win in none of them. So I think I made a pretty decent version of your game, is as far as I understand it correctly. So we have here six different cells. Blue, yellow, lime, red, purple and orange. So in the first part of this video I will show you how the system works, how everything is built up. And in the second part we will build it block by block together. Uh, fortunately, it's a modular system, so it's rather fast to build in survival or multiplayer Minecraft. And I will also give you an overview about each of those circuits. They're nicely colored, so you know what each circuit does at the end of this video. So, but first of all, maybe some of you, if you noticed, noticed it. Um, I got a new, what is it called, resource pack. So we have now dark mode enabled here. Maybe I also switched the world to dark mode. So for example, netherite instead of iron blocks. Maybe, yeah, just write some comments in the comment section down below. Would you like to have dark mode entirely in this video? So should I make it a little bit darker here so you can watch it at night or like before bedtime. I don't know when you watch my videos, but <laughs> you get the idea. If you want it darker, if you want my theme to be darker, let's write a comment. If you like it how it is, let's also write a comment. So, but the inventory is very nice to have in dark mode. And also this 3D textures. We have now also note blocks with uh, the exact tune, uh, with the exact pitch there. And yeah, also the sticky pistons with the slime, also some redstone in 3D with the signal strength. So yeah, I went all out, but yeah, let's see what I keep and what I don't keep. <laughs> so, but basically, as you saw in the preview, we can select any of those cells and let's quickly run out of them. So we select purple, for example, they all shift upwards uh, with their uh, barricades so nobody can enter it. So let's see, let's pick green, now red one. There's the option to win in multiple cells. There's also the option that none of the cells will win. So yeah, now the orange one got chosen. Let's pick red again. Oh, now we got three and we also got the red one. Um, yeah, if you don't stand in the cell, uh, it happens sometimes that the mechanism picks up a diamond if you're not fast enough, but this time I managed to do it since the hoppers down there will only be locked for a certain amount of time before they pick up another item. And I can show you how that works. So we put in here a diamond and another one. It won't get picked up until the machine is ready and then the next one will get picked up and another round will be sent to the casino. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> so I'm very sorry for that. Um, that basically never happened to me <laughs> before. Um, I quick fixed it, of course. Um, the problem doesn't arise now. So if we put in here as many diamonds as we like, as we can see here, the diamond will get taken at some point and nothing will happen to the sand anymore. Yeah, I just extended one pulse extender there, so now it's fine. <laughs> but it's it's fortunate that it happened during the video, otherwise uh, I would have launched the world to you and you would uh, basically write bad comments or <laughs> you, would ex you would complain in the comment section. But of course, uh, yeah, now I fixed it. So what does this machine do? So we have here six different cells and we win seven diamonds if we selected the right one in this round. So for example, if I choose here the red one and the red one also gets picked by the randomizing, randomization system, I would win seven diamonds, otherwise I will win nothing. And the mechanism behind it or the brain of this machine is for each of those six cells one one in eight randomizer. And now you may ask, what is a one in eight randomizer? And it looks exactly like that. It's a dropper hopper combination where the dropper has one in eight items that is non-stackable and seven items that are stackable. So that leaves us with a one in eight chance, of course, of getting signal strength two and a seven in eight chance to get signal strength one. So in 12.5% of all cases, we would reach signal strength two therefore powering this repeater, closing the end gate and giving us the precious diamonds. So how does this machine work now? As we pay, we have here a very simple item filter. So we have your 18 secret named items, a few uh, buffer items here and the currency item. If we place in the currency item, we will increase the signal strength from uh, one to two. 
to, and basically power this redstone here. Therefore, moving the wooden axe from this dropper into that one, as you can see here by the arrows, they are facing each other. And then this comparator picks up the signal in the newly in the new dropper, depowering that torch, and here we have an end gate. So if only that torch is depowered, nothing will happen. So only if the randomization system also picks signal strength 2, depowers the torch, both of them will be depowered. The end gate will be closed and this torch will get powered on shortly. It will power this pulse extender, powering this observer clock here and giving us a nice sound and also seven diamonds in the case. So we additionally power this yellow circuit here and the yellow circuit just indicates that we won via the lamps. So let's play it one more time. We insert nothing. <laughs> we insert a diamond. We can see here this uh, gate is now closed and yeah, the other gate did not close apparently. But you get the idea if both torches will close and I can, maybe I can simulate that by just throwing all the items out. Now we have a 100% chance for this slot. Let's do it. So to visualize it a little bit better, as we can see here, the end gate now closed and we won seven diamonds. And of course, I told you, if you don't stand in the cell, sometimes items will get picked up here. Yeah, of course, we have here this infinite mechanism now. <laughs> so to shorten that section, um, basically, you get the idea if you if we have both torches off, so the player input and the randomization input, we win a prize. So next up, what does the red and the purple or the magenta line do? So the red one just collects all the inputs from the players and puts them into one line. And this line collects everything, as we can see here, it collects everything and places it or puts it right here, the signal. So it doesn't matter which cell we play, we always activate the red line. After we activate the red line, we also activate the lime one and the lime one just powers all the randomization mechanisms in a row. And it yeah does so by powering all of them from left to right in one tick delays. And so we get the randomization of all those six cells and sometimes we win and sometimes we don't. And that already brings us here at this crossing with the lime one and the, here the magenta one. It also brings us to the magenta one. And this is just a reset circuit. So we fire here a four tick long pulse to reset all these uh, dropper dropper uh, T flip flops that, powered, that we powered in the first place by inserting one item. And we have here an additional feature that is this comparator that allows us to block the item hopper from getting more diamonds into the system. What it basically does is it prevents the machine from being spammed by some yeah angry customer or whatever, some trolls, so they cannot break your machine. And yeah, what we can also do here is um, review the section with the double piston extenders. That's the most basic uh, redstone contraption here in this whole build. So we have your simple double piston extenders with sand on top and I can show you how they function. Just place a redstone torch right here. So double piston extenders and then we just retract them and the sand falls back down again. Yeah, that's basically how the six cell casino works. Um, yeah, I just wanted to design it very space efficient and also modular so you can, for example, make out of the six cell mechanism a 12 cell mechanism or only a one cell mechanism or two cell mechanism. It doesn't really matter. It's completely customizable. It's completely up to you. And you can also, of course, um, improve or um, worsen the odds. And I would recommend you that if you have a one in seven payout, which is you insert one diamond and you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out if you win. If you have that ratio, I would recommend getting one um, odds lower in the randomization. So we have a one in s one to seven payout. So we have a one in eight chance of winning. What that does, it gives you a slight edge as a casino owner. It's like in real casinos, the house always wins. We know how it works, but sometimes someone will get lucky and he or she will cash out in a one in seven ratio, but having one in eight chances. So the odds are against you, of course, but yeah, that's how casinos work. And <laughs> I think we can all agree that, oh, now we won, that we should, um, let's get in there, that we should, as a casino owner, also make a nice profit with this machine. So um, what I have not mentioned so far is that this is extremely server friendly. We have not a lot of hoppers. We have not a lot of clocks running or uh, redstone going on. We have also the player protection mechanism. So if we play in here, 
nobody can grieve our diamonds because if somebody stands with you in the cell you can just hey i just go to another cell and if yeah they follow you they will always annoy you but you know you get the idea you should be safe in here you insert your currency item the wall will get up and yeah now we want nothing <laughs> so um yeah that's all everything for the explanatory part and i will see you in the block by block tutorial in a second so welcome to the block by block tutorial so uh don't be scared away by this uh, pre-built stuff here i just skipped on purpose all the redstone rel related stuff so yeah don't be scared away so what we have here to start with is a platform that is 27 by 9. So 27 in this direction and 9 the blocks in that direction. On the ninth block we already have here this diamond block uh, encasing. And so that leaves us 2, 4, 6, 8 blocks to the diamond block. Or 9 to this wall. And this wall is just um, spiked basically with smooth quartz in this configuration here. With some colors here, with some colors there. We have here a smooth quartz slab. We have here a space and yeah, that's basically how it's built. And make sure to pause at any point so you can build it by yourself. And here are just some upside down stairs and yeah, they just fit in like this. Next up, I want to build the glass in case uh, the glass cage. So we just have here these four blocks and we have this one, two, three, four, five blocks high. So a four by five pane. And this plane will just get a roof and another 4x5 plane right here and then we just leave a 2x3 gap too high, 3 wide to enter it. So um, next up we want to build the pistons. So for the pistons I already placed here some blocks. Doesn't matter, then they don't need to be that blocks, it's just easier for me to grab them with the middle mouse button. So we have here some sticky pistons at the bottom as we can see here and just some normal pistons right there and yeah then we just huh i didn't think that through very well did i did i <laughs> so just place this concrete powder on top also make sure you have a roof otherwise rain would of course ruin your <laughs> uh, walls so that is the pistons done and now we have here a dropper in this dropper we have just some diamonds in there so and what i forgot to mention of course you can customize the input that you need for example five diamonds or whatsoever whichever amount you want that's also completely customizable but now let's get into more building so first up we need some hoppers and some blocks so um we have now right here this kind of shape. Here we have a comparator. There we have a repeater, two pieces of redstone and one redstone torch. Sorry, redstone torch is right here. A hopper placed against this comparator. Then we will have here a chest and we will place it like this. And we can also get ourselves a composter. This composter will be right here. Nice, and yeah, we can also place in, no, we, don't, we will do it afterwards. So we can place in here a hopper, but uh, nothing more. So next up, we will get here some more, I had something decided, some that side. We will get here some more redstone going on. So we start with some droppers facing into each other and a comparator like that. We will place here any item, doesn't really matter. And we can also place in here a torch and some redstone like that. So then we have here our redstone dust that enables us to reset the whole system. And here we're gonna have our first end gate torch. And with this end gate torch, I want to make sure we have the second end gate torch right here. Repeater set to four ticks. Uh, then we're gonna have here a comparator here we're gonna have two pieces of redstone then we're gonna have here a block a dropper pre-filled configuration is like that hopper and a composter we can remove those two blocks and place in here a repeater a redstone dust another redstone dust and i 
think. Yeah, just just just, just to be sure here, not a redstone dust. By copy pasting that, it will be fine. So next up, we want to get ourselves involved in the end gate. So that should be our output block, which is uh, of course uh, the dropper behind. And we want to have here an end gate that looks like this. So we have one, two, three, four blocks like that. Here a torch. Then we're going to have here a three by two platform where we're going to add some comparators. This and like that. Then we're going to get a sticky piston, some observers. And they should face into each other other if the piston extends. We're gonna have here a block, there a block and here some redstone dust. Nice. Then we're gonna get, grab some yellow wool. We want to get ourselves right here with a four tick repeater. Then three pieces like this. We block down. We're gonna block over like that. Redstone dust, redstone torch and we're already done. We're gonna add the redstone not block, doesn't matter, I just set it to this pitch. And then I will grab the magenta and the red wool. And we can also, forgot that, add an iron block below the note block to make it sound a little bit better. For this uh, magenta line, we will need it right like that. So we have here a lot of redstone right here where the torch is, it would power it, we would need a repeater. And here another one, another red piece of redstone. And for the red wool, we just gonna place here a redstone dust, a repeater right next to it facing in that direction, two additional pieces of redstone. And that's it. That is our modular system done for the time. And now we basically built this for the other remaining five slots. Now the copying is done and we can see with all these uh, six slots here next to each other. And yeah, I <laughs> messed a little bit up. I forgot here an extra block. Of course, you have to completely fill this line here from left to right with redstone. Don't skip any blocks like my copy paste did here. So and yeah, that's basically it. The magenta line is just fine. That's great. And now we can already pre-fill the item filters. And we're gonna do that by placing in 18 items in the second slot, three there, they're all secretly named. And then we have currency items in here. And if we place three items in there, ah, of course we locked the system now, so we can only place one in there. One should be below here in this hopper. Yeah, perfect. So place only two in there, then you will lock it. And when you did it for all of the other remaining um, hoppers, you need to reset this line once and everything is back to normal. So now all those nice hoppers are filled exactly the same way and don't forget to reset it in the end so everything is back to normal. So let's now get started here with uh, some redstone repeaters like this. Just power them in this fashion. And then we're gonna need here some blocks. Yeah, we can already place three, that's fine. One, two, three. Then three blocks like that. And some blocks to Get here a nice redstone line, repeaters. And some repeaters facing those back blocks like that. So next up, we're gonna uh, get ourselves into the item collection system where all the diamonds will end up, will be this chest here. And what we need to do now is remove those blocks here, build ourselves a trench like that and just get everything in this chest here. So now I have to get out here. I've also noticed fancy arrows on the hoppers, they're super useful. 
and we can get composters chest three composters chest three composters chest and the chests should all align with the chests above and the hoppers above so now if we for example now ah, we cannot insert now diamond i uh, will break the system so we we do we test it later <laughs> So now we can also remove here this part that's just from copy pasting. Of course, that does not make any sense to have there. And then we are able to get in here two repeaters. Here we have uh, two pieces of redstone. And then we're gonna need blocks down like that. So it looks like this. And we can also now move this repeater right here that was a misplacement by me, by me and we're gonna separate those two lines entirely now we have a redstone torch like here two ticks two ticks and a sticky piston right in here and then two more redstone here with a repeater sorry set to four ticks and this one redstone and what this does is it should give us the option to power these pistons and also to retract them entirely. So that's now done. So now we can get ourselves some red wool right in here. And we wanna have here at this place, a redstone uh, pulse extender like that. And we're gonna power it with a four tick pulse like this. Now we can place in here our magenta line, just block up. And here is sticky piston at the corner and just go one two three four piston uh, repeater set to maximum delay and connect everything up now we have to only connect up this side here oh that is not right this is the right way to do it and we should be fine and that means it's testing time so we now want to just throw one diamond into the blue slot let's see yeah, all the walls move up. We won nothing. It doesn't matter in which cell we stood. <laughs> we would have won nothing. Red one. Still nothing. But it resets, so it works. So, let's do purple. Oh, now we got orange. Let's try one more. Let's try the lime one as the last one. If I could... If I could get it into this hole, it would be fine. Nah, nothing happened. So of course we were really unlucky in this test phase now, but you get the idea, everything works. Um, let's try it one more time with orange. Come on, is it so hard to win something here? Oh, that was nice. So with 28, we should be up to 35, 36. And I also found uh, what's the problem. So we have here four ticks and it should be one tick. You can adjust it, of course, if we spin Base. come on why can't I, am i too big for this hole what the hell is going on so um <laughs> we basically can adjust how much diamonds we win as a customer by adjusting the length of this pulse and this pulse so we can play around with that and now as we can see here with 42 should, we get us all, should get us all the way up to 49 and now we have the seven diamonds and not the eight but you get the idea you can customize also the output Perfect. With that uh, built, <laughs> thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you encounter any error or made any mistake during this block vlog tutorial, make sure to get the world download from the video description. You can download this world, play around with it, and you can also suggest ideas if you wanted to. And if you really like my content, make sure to subscribe, to like, and also share this video to your friends. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.